Okay, so I had a few folks ask for some more info on my chicken coop and my opener. So I'm going to do a little brief walk around of the coop and then talk about the opener a little more. This is the outside of my coop. You can see it's just a 8 by 16, sorry, 8 by 12 uh, coop with metal siding. Cheap to build. There's the door for my chickens to go in and out and my little temporary pen. Eventually I plan on widening this pen out to make it about 25 by 25. All right, this is the business end of the coop. Come in, I got a uh, little entryway here where I can store my food and extra feeders and shavings and parts. This is my battery that runs everything. It's just a standard 12 volt lawnmower battery. Got a solar power connector going up to the solar panel on the roof. Again, there's the uh, the light detector. It kind of looks out my little window here. This is the Arduino here. Um, just a standard Arduino Uno. They're about ten bucks on uh, on eBay. This is the Funduino uh, version of that. This is the four channel relay board. They're also uh, six or eight bucks on eBay. This is a bre standard breadboard. I think this is a 400 point board. Um, you can see the resistor here that ties in with my light detector that makes a little uh, voltage divider that ultimately gets sensed here by the uh, by the Arduino. My 12 volt to power the Arduino and the light detector come in to the prototype board on the right side. The 5 volts from the Arduino which runs the uh, relay board is here. You can see I have three different connections for the relays. Those will go actually to tie into the back of my switch which is here on the wall. This is just a standard two gang uh, electrical box. What I've done here is I've tied all the automotive relays together, kind of bundled them all up in here just so they're not dangling. This is the switch, operates the, uh, the door up, down. This is a, a momentary center loaded, spring loaded switch. Uh, I think I got it at the Radio Shack. Push it up down it always returns to the center. On the back side of that I have a spaghetti mess. I do have a, a schematic drawn up so you can kind of see what I've done here. But basically the power comes in, switches up or down uh, depending which drives the relays. This is my old uh, Craftsman drill. This drill, I've gutted everything out of it. There's no more trigger in it. The only thing left in here, the casing, the clutch, and the motor. Tied together, these go back, tie into the uh, to the outputs of my relays. Some, some of you are asking about my micro switches and how I set it up. You can see I've just got a bolt coming through the door here that activates the arm. On these uh, on these little micro switches, one for the top, so when it opens, hits the switch, stops. Another one for the bottom. This is the all thread or thread rod that I've used for. It's just it's three eighths inch, so it chucks right into the drill. This is a double nut that I've tightened on top of each other, on top of a just a regular fender washer. That kind of acts as a thrust bearing, if you will, kind of takes the weight off the uh, off the drill housing itself. This is the bracket that I've used. It's just a construction bracket. We call them hurricane straps here in the south. You can see here, I'm just taking a regular standard nut and JB welded it to the bottom of the, uh, of the bracket, drilled an appropriate size hole in the top for the 3 8 inch drive to go through and that's uh, that's about it. My opening ends up being about uh, 10 inches wide and about 12 inches tall which I found is plenty big enough for the uh, for the chickens to, to come through. 
So again, I do have a, a pretty good diagram drawn up of all the switches and relays and how they all work. Um, I don't know if you can see here, I've used several of these quick connect type spade switches. Makes life a whole lot easier. Right now I just kind of have the wires dangling all going back to the uh, to the guts of the system. While we're at it, I'll show you the laying boxes. Still need to pick up some eggs for today. On the back side of that, you come in here and you can collect the eggs. There's our afternoons bounty of eggs. Again, I'll uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions uh, right here on YouTube. Just uh, post your question as a comment and I'll help you out the best I can. Thanks.